Chris Cassell, FiberOptic.com, here to show you the Pro 730 Fusion Splicer. Do a quick demo and do uh, a few splices on it, show you how it works. Um, we're going to start off with the Pro 730 Splicer right here. Um, the first thing um, we will do is turn it on, and there's a toggle switch right here for the on off. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. And we're operating on AC power, have our power cord plugged in. Here we have battery, if you want to run on battery power out in the field. So now with my machine on, I will show you some of the, the buttons here. We'll go through the menu. Here's the menu, the middle button. I'm going to press the menu button. And here we have arc test. Arc test is more of a calibration that usually you won't have to do unless unless it um, is not splicing correctly or um, out of calibration and normally that setting stays the same you don't really need to change that next is select program program is if you're switching from multi mode or single mode or non zero dispersion fiber we're going to go here and once you have it highlighted you'll select program again and click on it and here we have our single mode, multi mode, non zero dispersion, dispersion shift fiber, just basically your different types of fiber. So we're splicing indoor single mode fiber, so we'll leave it on single mode. If you were to change it, you would scroll down and select multi mode or dispersion shift fiber, whatever you're doing. But we're doing single mode, so we're going to stay on single mode here. Click single mode. And now to exit back to the main menu, we'll just hit the exit here. And next menu, modify parameter. This is another menu that really doesn't need to be changed um, unless it needs to be serviced or calibrated. If, if so, you could go into modify parameter and go through the pre-arc time, pre-arc power, arc time. And that's, I mean, that's a standard factory settings. You don't really want to touch that. And record. This is to see how many splices are on the machine um, at a certain interval. The machine will need to be serviced, new electrodes. So this is just to keep a record of how many splices are on this machine. And you have your record number, number of splices. This machine has 539 splices. So just to give you, give you um, a, a, a record of of basically the mileage on your machine, the, the number of splices on your machine. So we're going to back out of the menu now and go ahead and actually do a fusion splice.